it's new alternator day and here is the old alternator here is the new alternator so before I go and fit it one thing I'm going to do is just remove this I believe this is a, a radio frequency suppressor or something like that it stops the noise of the alternator interfering with the radio if not that I ever listen to a radio station but uh, I'm still going to fit it anyway uh, so I need to transfer that over also on this terminal here there's a little spade connector so I need to transfer that to, to this one here but that's what I'm going to get on do nice easy stuff I'll see you after I've done it right that's everything swapped over so now to put the new one on the car when I took the alternator off I managed to catch that I think that's off the um, let me look at the wiring diagram this wire here is off the oil pressure inducer. This inducer is a sensor. There we go. Which be there, which would make sense in it because there's the oil pressure switch. If ever, anyone's ever interested in an oil pressure switch, that's where an oil pressure switch lives. And my car has a three prong variety. We got the uh, oil pressure sensor inducer. What is that looking like actually? That feels a little bit wobbly. No, it is on. Maybe we'll give that a clean up at some point. Might explain, I've got a bit of a wayward signal. Actually, I might get some, I might, might give that a, a bit of a clean. Some, let's see how, what sort of state it's in. It's not too bad. I'll pop this on for now. Mind you, that said, with the alternator out of the way, it's an opportunity to give that a clean, isn't it? I'll go and get myself some um, sanding paper. All right, may not necessarily look it, but that is much more improved. So, I now need to get the alternator into situ. I have to get the this this on the terminal. Again, that's gonna, uh, that could do with a clean. I'm gonna give that a clean. That's the, uh, Oh, I don't know what we would call that, the exciter. I'm, I'm calling it the exciter. Uh, the signal from the dashboard. So, let's give this a jolly good clean. All right, new alternator's in place. So I'm just gonna secure it. I'm putting the, uh, put the screw, put the nuts on the, on the insides. And, um, and then we're gonna wire it up. I need to get the fan belt on. Everything's aligned. So I've put it on the right orientation. Uh, yep. Okay, so I've got the output with the boot all over it. I'm happy with that. Uh, I've bolted it at the bottom. It's capable of swinging a little bit, so I'll be able to get the tension on there. So I think the next thing to get on is going to be the, uh, the the fan belt. So I just nipped out to, well, Wicks in the end. Find myself a little bar. I couldn't get the tension on the on the belt. And so, I've got this bar. Get the right amount of tension on there. It's nice and long. Like that, and then I can my ratchet on right that's still nice and there we go Oops. let's do that up How's I keeping the tension up? Hmm. Probably do it a little bit more. Again. 
Where's the tension? Yeah, it's good. Probably like how it was actually when I was having the difficulties in the first place. Oh, let's undo that a little bit. This is the point where ideally you'd have a friend, wouldn't you? <clears throat> Keep that tight. Oh. All right, I think that's relatively good. Those are the bolts in now. I think we're on the home straight. So where are we now with this? So there's some not overly happy with, with that tension, but that's probably the best I can do by myself. Uh, anyway, everything's bolted up. Let's get the it looks slight, where's that gonna go? It goes on there. So next thing to do is to get the earth strap on here. Question is, where has the earth strap gone? It's there. Okay. Right, next thing. I want to put it on that way. It feels more natural than having it sandwiched between the two, which is what it was. size is that? Nope.
those nice and tight. Nice. Okay, so that's the earth strap done. That's nicely strapped to the bottom there. Okay, right. Bellows. So I'd put everything on the bellows in the order it goes on. Except, 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 except. No, I'm not doing this right, am I? Because that wire is dangerously close to those fans, so that needs to be tucked out of the way. You're probably shouting at your screens at this point. So how do I feel about all this then? So there's the got a hose there. I mean this was just moved out of the way. Okay, so earth trap's done. Bellows are in. They're where they need to be. This just comes out the loom and goes in like so. That's out of the way of the fan. Got tension on that. That keeps coming off. So I think it's time to reinstate the battery. That goes in that one first. Okay.
And like I say, it was certainly easier removing the battery than it was putting it back in. Thirteen gone. Let's get the other terminal up. I'll see you on the other side. There we go, it's running. is on the ultimate. I mean that's with headlights and blower on. That's not bad. So that is a success. And the oil pressure gauge is uh, working. Good. 15. That's not bad. Cold engine, is it? Can we set the clock? I think that's the job done. So, I can think I might actually be able to get back on my door card. So, I'll see you next time, hopefully, for a door card video. Cheer Rover peeps. Bye. Okay, so, new alternator. Why is that battery light on? Is it because the engine speed's so low? That would be my question.